I am Emily Candela McLaughlin, and this is the South Park Hangs Together Community Art Project. It's like a mosaic of the neighborhood. It's two by two feet artboards that have been primed to withstand being outside. And we give them out to anyone who wants to be a part of South Park, who claims South Park as their neighborhood. Uh, 2018, I moved to the neighborhood permanently. I, was, I had lived here before uh, for a year, back in 2015 to 2016. So no, it's just, that's what, about three and a half years now. And Joe's put his painting in South Park. This is Joe's neighborhood. Hi. Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm <laughs> nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I think it's amazing. I think it's so, so needed at a time right now. And I'm so proud of South Park for coming together. And you know, South Park has always been amazing for it's creating a sense of community, but particularly at this time, I think it's really needed for myself, for our family, for all of our families here. Um, I think it's so cool that we all have this physical mural that'll show how, like, this patch quilt of awesome that we've created here at South Park. Cool. That, that. Yeah. There's my release. Awesome. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I am connected to South Park because I have done mentoring programs in the neighborhood. I've been a part of South Park Community Center. I'm a tutor and an educator, co-educator at this hall, South Park Hall, for a young, some individuals. I've also been a part of the open mics. <laughs> been a part of the open mics, COVID, uh, <laughs> at Resistencia when that was a thing. And um, I'm very much just connected with all the humans in this neighborhood. Whatever makes you happy, whatever has gotten you through the coronavirus pandemic, the trauma of social injustice, the economic inequalities, and um, you know all the all the problems and conflicts and traumas and the things that have made life really hard for everyone in some measure, and some people have had a lot of hardship in this past year or so. And so what's gotten you through that? What's your inspiration for going on, getting through it? And um, it may be, this is also a chance for people to paint, maybe they need to paint something out from 2020. <laughs> um, maybe there needs to be something that they can just get rid of onto this board and paint it out, you know, that's that's the other option. I started out with like, just I just painted black, and then once I started doing red, I kind of blindfolded myself and just did whatever. Just kind of, like, I didn't like paint it out like this, I just painted it out like randomly, like just splurred it. I didn't really see anything, and then every like five minutes, I like took off my blindfold and then spun it, and then I just shoot, used a different color each time. So kind of, and then it, now it kind of looks like a guy holding a javelin or spear or something, holding a knife too, I guess. I don't know. That's what it looked like when it was done. But yeah, I just listen to music and have this on, on my eyes and stuff, so it's cool. Because we're not about disguising um, people's hardships, we want this to be a beautiful and welcoming project that helps people move on and move forward in their lives in South Park. Public art can lay claim to a physical space that people can lay claim to their neighborhood through one of these, through painting one of these boards. These boards will all end up in public places around South Park. Um, and for everyone to see and everyone to enjoy and for the people who have painted the boards to feel proud and feel connected to the, this neighborhood and to the other people who have painted boards whose boards surround them they will always be hung in groups so this is a project to anchor people in South Park 
and also welcome new people in the gesture of honoring people who are here. Um, so this is also a way for people to say South Park is my home. So please paint a board yourself if you call South Park your home. And uh, we want this project to be a, a way for you to feel like South Park is your neighborhood. And that can't be taken away from you because these boards will be up in South Park as part of the physical environment for a long time. And we'll always have that anchor in South Park, no matter what.